Hello everyone, welcome to Infigya. In this very interesting video of functional equation, today we will be solving f of 5x minus f of 4x equal to 2x. We will use substitution to solve this functional equation. We will use algebraic manipulation few times and then we will conclude our result. Then we will verify the result also. So let's get started. I will substitute, let me substitute 5x is equal to t. That means x will be equal to t over 5. Let's put here f of t minus f of 4 times t over 5 equal to 2t over 5. Okay. If you will notice this equation, then it is obviously linear polynomial equation. If you will observe the unknown variables or better is to say functional variables that are 5x and 4x. So it is also one indicator that we will get linear polynomial form or linear equation form. There are few more points we will talk little later. I will write minus f of 4t over 5 to the right. So equation will be f of t equal to f of 4t over 5 plus 2t over 5. Let's change the variable. So I will replace t with x. So equation I will write that would be f of x equal to f of 4x over 5 plus 2x over 5. This is the important equation for us as far as solution is concerned. How? See, if you notice your left hand side is fx, which, which was our expectation. Right hand side is its variable, functional variable 2x over 5. And see what about f of 4x over 5. So that is in the sequence formation of iteration. Earlier it was 1x, now it is 4 over 5x, next time it would be 16 over 25x. So that is gradual pro process of getting series or sequence. So let us find out that iterations. We will find out f of 4x. So how we can find out, let me consider this is our equation number 1. So I am targeting f of 4x over 5. Okay. This is my target to find out f of 4x over 5 from the same equation. So let me put x or let me substitute x as 4x over 5. Once I will substitute x as 4x over 5, left hand side would be f of 4x over 5. Now this function would be f of 4 over 5 times 4x over 5. So 16x over 25 plus 2 over 5 times 4x over 5. So 8x over 25. Let me put the value here. f of x is equal to f of 16x over 25 plus 8x over 25 this is the value of f of 4x plus y. Now plus 2x over 5. Now one term increased by iteration number 1. Let me call Roman 1. Now second iteration is about to come. How? Now 16x over 25. So second iteration we will consider f of 16x over 25 in the left hand side. So what I am going to do in equation 1, I am going to replace x by 16x over 25. Okay, now I have to multiply this 16x over 25 with 4 over 5. So first function variable we will have that would be 64x over 125. Okay, now second value that is 2 over 5 times 16 over 25x. So that value will be 32 over 125x. So let me write 32x 
over 125. Let us put back here again. So f of x will become f of 64x over 125 plus 32x over 125. This is done plus 8x over 25 plus 2x over 5. And similarly, if I will not stop our iteration steps, I won't stop those steps, then I will get one continuous series. So what I am going to consider in that context, I will consider the first term or you can say the term which is having function that would be one constant. So I am considering as A, presuming that for x positive, x tending to 0 plus f of 64x over 125, that is A. And that would be constant obviously. So fx will convert, fx is equal to A plus. Now let's talk about the remaining term. I am going to take 2 by 5. See this sequence will be continued from this side only. This is first term, second term like that. So let me take 2x over 5 common. So 1 plus 4 over 5 plus, if I will take common, then it would be 16 over 25 plus dot dot dot. You can easily see it is infinite GP. This bracket is infinite GP. Okay, so what is formula? First term, that means 1 over 1 minus common ratio. Common ratio is 4 over 5. So that value is 1 minus 4 over 5. So 1 over 5, 5 will come to the numerator. So that will cancel your denominator. So ultimately our fx will be a plus 2x. This is something very very important. You can manipulate, you can check, you can directly predict this function also. But this is how you can show your mathematical work. Let me write here. fx is equal to a plus 2x for x positive. Similarly, I can conclude for x negative, it would be b plus 2x. b would be some very small value. And if you want to define b, then that would be 0 minus, let me write that function value f of 64 over 125x, that was our b for x negative. Okay. Now last point, I am concluding from that. If x equal to 0, let me consider or let me consider here, if x is equal to 0, this value is c. This function is not continuous. You can see for x positive function is a plus 2x, x negative function is b minus 2x and x equal to 0 function value is c. So function is not continuous. To make this function continuous or for continuity condition to hold a equal to b equal to c. Once this is true, we can write fx is equal to a plus 2x. So we will presume that function is continuous. So fx is equal to a plus 2x for all x belongs to real number. Now let's verify our result and then we will conclude our video. How verify? f of 5x. So f of 5x would be a plus. See I am putting values here. f of 5x means a plus 2 times 5x minus f of 4x a plus 2 times 4x it should come out 2x so this is our lhs so a plus 10x minus a plus 8x that in bracket it is that will give us a will be cancelled out 10x minus 8x 2x which is our rhs that means whatever we have calculated 
we have find out that is absolutely correct thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll meet tomorrow in next conceptual video bye bye